what's going on guys and welcome to your 26th HTML and CSS tutorial and in this we'll be discussing about table and table tag and all its uh, sub tags uh, in this mini series kind of so if you see that I have the title as introduction to tables and HTML5 now before starting with tables I would like to give you a brief introduction to what basically tables are and why do we needed them earlier so as you know that tables are pretty much like an excel sheet or you could actually create a table in ms word by simply uh, grabbing the table tool and then drawing your own table and obviously you know that table has something like row and then another or this should be actually a column name call name then call name 2 and like that then we have another row and this thing right here is a row and these uh, this uh, vertical thing is a column the horizontal thing is a row so I hope you know about uh, tables in your day-to-day -day life but in HTML earlier what used to do uh, what we used to do as web developers is that when we don't had much of the CSS properties and values then we used to create layouts in table tag now by that what I mean is in HTML we could actually customize the width of any column or row inside table tag so for example if I want that this should be my logo section and then this should be my advertisement section and that's it and I say that this uh, these two should be empty uh, for the spacing and then right here I should have my content which is my articles or anything you have site related to and right here I want to have the sidebar so what are we are doing here is we can just create it down a bit so this is a kind of layout you have created in HTML with table tags now earlier we used to create such type of layouts with table tags because we didn't have much of the CSS knowledge and browsers didn't support that much of CSS for the customization but now we have very powerful CSS and now even CSS3 which adds uh, various kinds of animation effects and reduces the need of JavaScript but anyways uh, now we don't make use of table tags for the layout and uh, that is officially deprecated as well so the main uh, objective of uh, teaching you table tags is to create just normal tables that you used to create with your uh, MS Word and in your Excel files are uh, not only uh, only Excel but uh, there are many online softwares to create tables but one thing you have to remember is though uh, creating lay uh, layouts with table tags is easier but never create those uh, nowadays nowadays because that's officially deprecated to create uh, layouts with table tags and I would just recommend you to go with CSS and all the HTML5 stuffs like header tags and uh, main tag, div tags and all that. So that was a little introduction to tables usage in HTML5 and now let's uh, take a look at how do you actually create some tables and this uh, looks pretty much good so I'll just comment out it so it looks nice and why are there dashes right here anyways never mind so now let's take a look at what table tags are and how do you write one so to start with a table what we need to do is write a opening table tag which is like this and a closing table tag and it's a container tag so, so it should be opened and closed so inside this now we have got a top container layer for the table to be created now first of all let's say I just want to create 
one row and one column in the table so to create a row in table we have the tag tr now tr tr tag right here signifies that a row is started and obviously this would be a container tag because we want to tell the browser where our row is ending and now we have created a row inside a table tag so now let's say I want to give some data inside this and I say let's TD and I would say data1 and I will just close TD and I would give another TD and I would say data2 and I'll just close that so here's my HTML document and when I reload this I get data1 and data2 as the output now this doesn't uh, seem very nice to you right now because this is, uh, doesn't look like a table but actually when we give it a border now border basically is a deprecated attribute for table and we have some deprecated attribute for the table and its uh, sub elements as well but for this tutorial I'm just gonna teach you uh, for the perspective of or how you see tables but you don't use make use of border and from the next tutorial onwards I'll teach you how to use CSS instead of this border attribute and since we are using doc type HTML so I should not actually use this border one but let's see it quick if I give border let's remove that so what would happen let's reload this and now as you can see this pretty much looks like a table now though board border is a deprecated attribute but it would still work in browsers because browsers do support uh, have a compatibility support with tables till now so as I told you border is deprecated but anyways we are using that so just like we uh, have created a simple table right now in the future tutorials we'll create some more good tables for displaying and organizing data with some non-valid uh, uh, sorry with some valid HTML5 table attributes and all those attributes for TR and TD and there are many more tags uh, for the table as well so thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you then next time